All right, welcome everybody. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Nora from Travel Leaders and I am joined today by Frank Westfall from Walt Disney World and he's gonna share with us wonderful um, information about what's going on right now and what to expect for this year. So I'm turning it over to you. All right, thank you, Nora. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining me as we discuss a brief, overview of the Walt Disney World Resort in beautiful sunny Florida. And if you are tuning in from the north, now is a great time to be escaping the winter weather and head on down to um, Central Florida and the Walt Disney World Resort for an incredible, magical vacation. As you may be aware, the Walt Disney World Resort is celebrating its 50th anniversary. We turned 50 on October 1st of 2021, and we will continue to celebrate the most magical celebration on earth for the next um, several months. So talk to your travel advisor about visiting Walt Disney World during this very special anniversary for the company. With that today, I did want to give you a high level overview of what is available for you to visit at the Walt Disney World Resort. What does the Walt Disney World Resort encompass and a few other details. Should you have any questions today, please don't hesitate to ask them in the chat box, and I'll do my best to answer them for you. And with that, let's dive in where the magic first began, on opening day back in 1971. It all started at Walt Disney World with the Magic Kingdom Park. This is that theme park that everybody iconically thinks of when they think the Walt Disney World Resort. And it's just one of our many theme parks, but of course, it's the first and the original and home to beautiful Cinderella's Castle. Here you can explore different lands of fantasy, Tomorrowland, Adventureland, and more, and step right into some of the iconic Disney classic films and experiences. This is that theme park that everybody wants to visit and is the first park that most people visit when they're heading to the Walt Disney World Resort. New for the 50th celebration, we have a brand new nighttime spectacular called Disney Enchantment. This one is an unbelievable experience with stunning fireworks and immersive projection effects that not only radiate off of Cinderella's Castle, but flow all down Main Street, giving you a 360 degree perspective of everything transforming around you. This nighttime spectacular happens on select nights at the Magic Kingdom, so make sure to talk to your travel professional and ensure that you take in this incredible new show for a limited time only. Our second park to join at Walt Disney World Resort is Epcot, and Epcot is a unique experience, kind of two theme parks in one. The front half is what we currently, although under a multi-year um, process to change, Future World, and the back half is World Showcase. The front half with Future World has, of course, Spaceship Earth, which right now for the 50th celebration has a brand new beacon of light celebrating each night and is an incredible lighting effect on Spaceship Earth. However, here you're going to find some of the most beloved attractions at Epcot, including Soaring, where you do a hang glider experience over the world. Test track, where you're set up like a test track dummy in a GM car, and you go through all sorts of different activities before you head out on the loop and get up to about 65 miles an hour. In future, um, in World Showcase, you'll visit 11 different countries and so much more. New at Epcot, we have a new nighttime spectacular that kicked off just in time for the 50th anniversary called Harmonious. It's an experience that brings music and stories from around the world to light with fireworks, light, and water. It's a not to be missed nighttime spectacular happening nightly at Epcot. However, also just in time for the 50th celebration, we introduced one of the new attractions at Epcot in the French Pavilion, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. In this adventure, you'll feel like you've been shrunk down to the size of Chef Remy, and it will take you throughout the kitchen and restaurant on a wild experience. This amazing attraction is open for kids of all ages and has quickly become a fan favorite. 
Me personally, it's hard to choose between Remy's Ratatouille and Venture or Soaring at Epcot as my two favorites. But don't forget, for those Frozen fans that are looking to see Anna and Elsa, you'll find them here at Epcot in the Norway Pavilion with their own winter summer home for you to be able to engage with Anna and Elsa, as well as their very own attraction experience. Next, we head over to the glamour of Hollywood with Disney's Hollywood Studios. This one, you can become part of a world of entertainment and experience the movies, television, music, and theater. Here, there's been so many new additions to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Recently, we brought in Toy Story Land, where again, everything is scaled as if you are in Andy's backyard and the size of a toy. You'll take in fantastic attractions like Toy Story Mania, Slinky Dog Dash, and Ailing Swirling Saucers. You'll also find incredible live entertainment at Disney's Hollywood Studios, including Beauty and the Beast and Frozen the Musical and so much more. However, recently added to Hollywood Studios is Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, the largest expansion to Hollywood Studios since it opened. And this one will drop you right into the Star Wars universe. Here you land in Black Spire Outpost, which is on the edge of the galaxy between the unknown regions and wild space. It's a long forgotten planet named Batu, and the First Order and the Empire reign, uh, the resistance reign here. You'll be transported into a totally unique experience that you don't want to miss. Star Wars fans, get ready to see folks like Chewbacca, Kylo Ren, and Rey, as well as experience different opportunities to engage with materials and make your own lightsaber or your own droid, as well as some of the most popular attractions in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. First up, we have Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. This is where you and a small team get to actually pilot the Millennium Falcon on a very special miss mission. It is one that the entire family will enjoy. And it's one that I know my god kids have made me ride over and over and over again. It is really, really cool. However, the longest, most technologically advanced attraction is also here in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and is a must-do attraction called Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. You'll join the Resistance as you're captured by the First Order, interrogated by them, and then, of course, ultimately on a mission to try to break free and save the galaxy. Head over to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, included with your admission to Disney's Hollywood Studios. And new, the newest attraction at Disney's Hollywood Studios is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. This one is an attraction that every time I head to Disney's Hollywood Studios, I take in because it just makes me smile. You zip away on a zany adventure through a cartoon universe that is crammed full of unique three-dimensional surprises with Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and so many more of the characters that are known and loved for the Disney universe. Make sure to check out Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And finally, our fourth theme park at the Walt Disney World Resort is Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. This one brings the world of the imaginary to the world of the reality, where you get to go on a live safari and see tropical animals from uh, Kilimanjaro safaris in Africa, or explore Tibet in the Himalayas on Expedition Everest. Live entertainment like Festival of the Lion King and Finding Nemo the Musical, and so much more. New at Disney's Animal Kingdom Park, we welcome a brand new land called Pandora, the world of Avatar. Here you'll experience the floating forest, get to dine on a remote outpost, and engage with two incredible attractions. First is the Navi River Journey. Here you set sail through the bioluminescent forest and experience the world of Pandora at night. 
then head over to one of the most popular attractions at any of our Disney theme parks, head out to um, the Flight of Avatar. Here you'll board a Banshee and soar over Pandora on a once in a lifetime experience with the Navi. It is breathtaking graphics, unbelievable experience, and when in the world do you ever get to say that you flew your own, very own Banshee? It is a unique and wonderful experience. Whether you've seen the films or not, you're going to love Pandora, the world of Avatar. And new during the 50th celebration at Disney's Animal Kingdom Park, we have a brand new afternoon spectacular called Kite Tales, where larger than life kites soar over the lakes with incredible music and experiences. Fun for the entire family. We've recently talked about our four incredible theme parks at the Walt Disney World Resort, but we also have an incredible entertainment district called Disney Springs. Here you can shop, dine, and experience waterfront districts where no two trips will be the same. You'll find the largest Disney shopping experience with World of Disney incredible bakeries, wonderful restaurants, and live entertainment. Brand new, just a few months running now, we have Drawn to Life by Cirque du Soleil. This collaboration with Disney Imagineering, Disney Animation, and Cirque du Soleil brings an incredible and touching story to life like nothing before. If you've never had the opportunity to experience a Cirque du Soleil performance, this is an incredible first time, particularly for our younger guests. And if you're a veteran to Cirque du Soleil, you're going to love the unique take that only Disney Imagineering and Disney Animation can bring to this one-of-a-kind experience. Talk to your travel agent today to secure tickets to this amazing performance of Drawn to Life by Cirque du Soleil. Now, Walt Disney World, beyond our theme parks and of course our entertainment district, we do offer seasonal special events, including going on right now at Epcot, where we've got the Epcot International Festival of the Arts. Presents the most colorful, delicious musical celebrations for art lovers. Guests can introduce their inner concierge <laughs> inner artist to an exciting extravaganza filled with extraordinary artists, gourmet fair, stage productions, and other amazing acts. This limited time engagement happens daily at Epcot and is included in your theme park admission. Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival takes place each and every spring where you can come and visit Epcot with unique topiaries, gardens, more vendors to experience more culinary designs, as well as music and entertainment. This all happens for multiple months in the spring and is an incredible time to see all of nature rebloom at Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. In the fall, Epcot is home to the International Food and Wine Festival. Here you can walk around World Showcase Lagoon and visit more than 25 unique countries and taste different samplings of delights, as well as wine and beer and other spirits. There's also a nighttime concert series called the Eat to the Beat concert series that takes place as well. Both the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival and the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival are included with your admission ticket to Epcot. Then over at the Magic Kingdom in the fall, we do have a couple special events that for the past two years were on a brief hiatus, but we look forward to returning in 2022. Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party takes place on select evenings in August, September, and October, where the Magic Kingdom is transformed into a Hollywood wonderland, where kids and adults can trick or treat, meet the Disney characters in their Halloween costumes, and enjoy an incredible nighttime fireworks display. Then, just in time for Christmas, we have Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, taking place on select nights in the Magic Kingdom from Thanksgiving through Christmas. This one, you'll experience Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Parade, an incredible nighttime spectacular, hot chocolate cookies, Santa Goofy, and so much more.
Both Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party and Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Parties are specially ticketed events that take place after park hours. So make sure to talk to your travel agent for details on when these ticketed items go on sale, typically in the summertime. Now beyond our theme parks and our um, downtown or our shopping district, we have two incredible world-class water parks. The first, open now for your enjoyment, is Disney's Typhoon Lagoon Water Park. This one is themed as if a typhoon came through Central Florida with incredible attractions for you to enjoy for the entire family. And then returning later in the season is Disney's Blizzard Beach Water Park. This one is themed as if a blizzard came through Central Florida and as the snow started to melt, families could enjoy incredible water themed attractions. Both of these two individually ticketed attractions are an incredible way to spend a hot Florida day and cool down with the families. Now, of course, at the Walt Disney World Resort, we do have incredible dining. And this one, you're going to want to talk to your travel professional to help you narrow down where and when you're going to want to make your dining reservations. But let's talk quickly about the different dining venues we have. We have what we call our quick service dining. Quick service dining is offered at a variety of locations throughout our theme parks. Here with quick service dining, you simply go up to the restaurant, place your order, and then seat yourself with your dining. Now, what we do have through My Disney Experience is called mobile order for almost all of our quick service locations throughout the Walt Disney World Resort. When you're using your My Disney Experience mobile app, you can simply go online anytime you'd like throughout the day, see the quick service dining restaurants, look at their menus, place your order, and then when you're ready to dine, you simply walk up to the restaurant, click that you're here, your made, food is made fresh, and you simply head over to the counter and pick it up. Mobile order has become the most prominent, predominant way of placing orders for quick service dining, and of course, the time saving and most convenient for families. I know personally, when I'm traveling to Walt Disney World, and we're getting hungry, I like to, while we're waiting for an attraction or show, ask the entire family where we'd like to eat, place our order, and then when the show is done, click that we're here so we can just simply go pick up our food and eat when we like. We also have table service dining. Now table service dining is where you're seated and have a wait staff that will serve you. Table service dining, all of our locations can be secured by dining reservations. Dining reservations for all of our table service can be done 60 days prior to arrival. And for those guests staying at a Walt Disney World Resort Hotel, it's 60 days from the day you first check in. And for all other guests, it's 60 days to the day. But talk to your travel professional as they can help you narrow down what is your best options and what restaurants you may choose to dine at. We also have, for special occasions, signature dining restaurants throughout the Walt Disney World Resort. Signature dining, including the dining location pictured here, Victoria and Albert's, our AAA Four Diamond restaurant, is an incredible way for you to have a wonderful culinary experience at the Walt Disney World Resort. And just like our table service, signature dining does require advanced reservations and can be done up to 60 days prior to arrival. Now, unique to the Walt Disney World Resort and Disney theme parks around the world is our incredible character dining experiences. Here we have locations available for breakfast, lunch, and dinner where characters will be at the restaurant and will rotate and come to your table, offering you an opportunity for a photo and a quick autograph. It is a wonderful way for you to start your day if you're a breakfast person or end your day. And character dining can also be made reservations for 60 days prior to arrival. Now, let's head over to another way for you to manage your reservation while you are in the theme parks. 
called Disney Genie. Once you're in the theme parks, you do need your valid theme park admission and park pass reservation to enter any of our four theme parks. But once you're in the theme parks, we have a brand new source for you to be able to manage and navigate your day in the My Disney Experience app called Disney Genie. Disney Genie is a complimentary service that will give you a personalized day optimizer. Now, if you haven't been to the Walt Disney World Resort in a long time, or this is your first visit, this is an incredible tool for you to be able to maximize time. Your personalized day optimizer, Disney Genie will ask you several questions on what you're looking for in your experience at the Walt Disney World Resort from particular characters or attractions or shows or events. You simply customize what you're interested in and Disney Genie will continue to update in the background throughout the day to give you recommendations on what you should see and what you should do next. For example, I am a very big show fan and like to see a lot of the different performances throughout the parks. When I was at Animal Kingdom, I entered that into Disney Genie, and Disney Genie simply told me that in 30 minutes, Festival of the Lion King, you may want to go line up now. Or a little bit later is Birds of Flight, you may want to take in that show. And it continued to give me recommendations and pertinent information throughout the day, as well as reminding me that perhaps I'd like to place a mobile order as I didn't have a lunch reservation, and more. But for those seasoned folks, or for people that have gotten really used to your personalized day optimizer, we do also have a tip board where you can go see wait times and forecasted wait times throughout the day for all of the attractions and experiences. So that if you'd prefer for you to make your own decisions, instead of allowing Disney Genie to choose them for you, you can make your best informed decision. We do have a virtual assistant for you to be able to um, ask questions that you may have on the go. And as well, included in Disney Genie and the My Disney Experience app is the ability to do mobile order, which I've already talked about. But for your table service restaurants, you can check in to let them know that you're here so you don't have to go to the host or hostess podium to check in. And when they're ready to seat you, you'll get a notification in the app. Also, if you didn't make a dining reservation and you'd like to be added to the standby list for dining locations, you can do that through Disney Genie as well. And although we don't currently, but from time to time, we do offer virtual queues at select attractions. This is also offered through the Disney Genie service. Now, this portion, Disney Genie service is complimentary to everybody who has a theme park ticket and a mobile device. It does live in the My Disney Experience mobile app for you to download on your Android or Apple devices. Now second, which does go to one of the questions that was in the Q&A, is Disney Genie Plus service. Now Disney Genie Plus service is available for an additional fee. It's $15 per person per day. And it has three unique features that are opened with Disney Genie Plus. First is Audio Tales. Audio Tales is a guide in Disney Genie Plus that when you're walking through the theme parks will give you narrated information of what you may be seeing. It's a great way for you to be able to answer those questions that your kids may have about some of the murals at Cinderella's Castle. Then my personal favorite of Disney Genie Plus service is the PhotoPass Augmented Reality Lenses. This one opens up a slew of camera lenses on your mobile device for you to be able to take unique and fun pictures that are only available through Disney Genie Plus. My personal favorite is taking a picture where it makes me the genie, but I do also love some of the ones with the overlays for Cinderella's Castle and so many more. Now, the one that you're probably most interested in is what we have is Lightning Lane. At 40 experiences throughout the Walt Disney World Resort, we have all of our attractions are open to everybody to visit. So you can simply go visit an attraction, get in the standby queue, and just wait to ride the attraction. However, at 40 plus attractions, we do have what's called a Lightning Lane entrance. 
Disney Genie Plus allows you to select one attraction at a time and that one attraction once per day um, to come back to that attraction in the lightning lane of bypassing the standby line. So how this works is starting in the morning at Walt Disney World at 7 a.m. on the day that you have a park ticket and park reservation for, you can go into Disney Genie Plus and select the first attraction that you would like to use Lightning Lane for. And then as soon as you've ridden that attraction, you can select your next attraction that you would like to use Lightning Lane. Now, if a Lightning Lane that you selected is for later in the day, longer than a two hour period, it'll allow you after two hours to select your next Lightning Lane attraction. So basically it's um, up to every two hours to select your next attraction. Now, if you selected an attraction like the Haunted Mansion right away first thing in the morning, and you'd like to visit Haunted Mansion again that day, you won't be able to use Lightning Lane, but you can still visit it using the standby lane. So you can only use Lightning Lane once a day per attraction, um, and it is one at a time. So that is Disney Lightning Lane. But we do have one other unique option, and this one in the chat Howard asked, which rides do we need separate tickets and or are an extra cost? So Howard, there are no paid attractions. You can ride every single attraction at Walt Disney World with your entrance ticket. However, there are attractions where you can use the Lightning Lane entrance for a fee. We did just talk about Disney Genie Plus, which gives you access to over 40 plus. But then we do have a separate individual attraction selection. Now there are two attractions in each theme park that you can choose your time and pay to use the Lightning Lane for that day. At the Magic Kingdom, this is Seven Dwarfs Mine Train and Space Mountain. At Epcot, it is Frozen Ever After and Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. At Disney's Hollywood Studios, it's Rise of the Resistance and Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And then over at Disney's Hollywood Studios, it's Pandora Flight of Passage and Expedition Everest. Now, all of these attractions, you can just go and get in the standby line. You don't need to pay to ride them. But if you would like to avoid the standby line for those attractions, you could select your Lightning Lane time and pay a fee for that Lightning Lane. These eight attractions that I just mentioned are not part of Disney Genie Plus. They are individual attraction selections. And so they are a separate. And of course you can choose to do Disney Genie Plus and individual attraction selections. You could do just individual attraction selections or you could just use Disney Genie and not purchase Disney Genie Plus or individual attraction selection. It's all up to you. Now, individual attraction selections can be made starting at 7 a.m. each morning of the park that you're going to visit with your park pass reservation and theme park ticket. It's at 7 a.m. for Disney resort guests, so guests staying at a Disney-owned and operated hotel, or it's park opening for all other guests. Now, I know today that was a very high-level overview of our theme parks, water parks, our shopping and dining district, Disney Springs, as well as some of our restaurants and of course, Disney Genie. There is so much that goes into planning the perfect Walt Disney World vacation. And that's where your travel professional who is trained and experienced on this product can help you navigate and make the best selections and save you time and money on your Walt Disney World vacation. So please, if you have questions, reach out to your travel advisor. They are more than happy to assist you in planning your Walt Disney World trip. And we look forward to seeing you and your family at Walt Disney World for the 50th celebration. Thank you for joining me today. Wishing you a very magical day and a wonderful 2022. Bye-bye. Thank you very much, Frank. Thank you, everybody, for joining. If anyone does have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. And I don't know, Melissa, if you'd like to come on and say a little something.
something or maybe you're not available on camera, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not on camera, but I am here. Thanks everyone for coming. Frank, thank you for um, presenting. You did a really great job. It was, it was a lot of information, but it was all really great. Thank you all so much. All right, well, I will hold out here for a few moments in case anyone has any questions.